Hello, hello, this is Asaf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com with a very special fingerstyle guitar lesson series, especially for Jelly Note. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a full fingerstyle arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of Stay With Me. I'm gonna show you every finger position, every chord, every lick, every note, everything. I promise you by the end of the video you'll be able to play it yourself. But first, in the description below you'll find a link to go watch this lesson on jellynote.com because on jellynote.com you watch the lessons with interactive tabs and sheet music that run right along with the video. It's awesome and it makes the learning process a lot faster and so much more fun. So go check it out. I promise you it's awesome. You'll learn it a lot faster than you will without the tab. So Let's start. The intro is basically three chords. It's A minor 7, F, and C. So for A minor 7, all you need to put on is two on the fourth string, two on the D string, and you play strings. Three, four, and five. Okay? Like this. Okay? Then you put two and three on strings three and four for an F chord head. Okay? This is F. We just need the head. Okay, two and three on strings three and four. Okay, and then you take these two fingers and just transfer them to strings four and five. Okay, so it's two and three on strings four and five now instead of strings three and four. And this is a C chord head. Now you can put the whole C chord if you like, and you play strings three, four, and five. Okay, so you get this as your intro. A minor seven. Okay? In this rhythm. Okay? This is why it's easier to just use two fingers. Okay? And you play this twice or four times or eight times, how many times you like. Okay? And then you start. The verse starts with the open A string. And then you play one three on the second string. Okay? You can hammer it on if you like. Okay? And then the open E string. And then you play one three on the second string again, okay? And then you play the open E string, but with F. So you play from string one to four, it's zero, one, two, three. Basically, it's F major seven because we have the open E string, but the chord there is F and the open E string is the melody. So we'll call it F, okay? But technically this is F major seven. So. play the leg twice, but the second time around you have harmony along with the open E string. A, F, okay, with the open E string. Then one three on the second string again, and then the open E string again, and then it's one on the second string, and then you put C on and you play strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, so you get this. Okay? And that's the first line. A, F, C. Okay? And then you start again the same way. A, F, and then you have one three on the second string, and then zero three on the E string. And then you have C again, but this time it's strings one, two, three, and five. Okay, for the open E string. So it's... Got it? The first one, the first ending was... The second ending was... Okay? That's how music works. You play the same thing twice and change the ending. That's usually how songs go. And then you have this... This is completely different from the rest. It's the open A string again. You slide to five on the E string, okay, and then three zero. Then you have this, okay? You prepare for F, but you put three on the second string. So you get three, two, three on strings two, three, and four. Okay, and you need the first finger on the second string. That's why I'm not showing you this. Don't do this because you need this note in a second. So prepare for the right shape of the chord and put your pinky on three on the second string. So it's this. Okay, you play strings two, three, and four on three, two, and three. And then it's... 
one three on the second string and then the open E string. So you want to keep the chord ringing. See, the chord keeps playing. If we put this on, we'd have to let it go and then it sounds like this. Pretty lame, so we want to keep the music going. Right? And then one on the second string and then C with strings three, four, and five. Okay, just like in the intro. Okay, so. Okay, this time a low pitch C. And then you have the first line again, exactly the same. F. Okay, C. Exactly the same. So, the whole verse. Second line. Okay? And then. How beautiful is that? And then the first line again. Okay? And that's the first. Now for the chorus. You start with one on the second string, zero, three on the E string. And then you bar five on strings one, two, and three. Okay, this is A minor. And you play the fifth string first. Okay, you play the bass first, and then the chord, strings one, two, and three. So it's this. And it gives you time to change the chord. Okay? And then it's F with three on the first string. So you have three, one, two, three. Okay, so it's. Then C, a normal C chord, strings one, two, three, and five. Okay, that's the first line. Okay. And then it's this. One, three on the second string. Then you have A minor, a normal A minor chord, and you play. Okay, the same thing you played before, but with this shape. The A bass, the fifth string, and then strings one, two, and three. Okay, bass chord. And then F, you play strings 2, 3, and 4. And then C, you play strings 2, 3, and 5. Okay, so it's this. Okay, the first one was a high version. The second one was a low version. Okay, and then you have 3 on the 6th string for a G bass, and you play that and then 0 3 on the E string and then you play the A minor again on 5 so it's 5 5 5 and the 5th string all together okay then 7 on the E string and then a D shape on 5 5 6 7 okay a D chord on 5 this is an F chord so it's okay and then it's 3 on the E string and then C again Strings one, two, three, and five, and then you can pull off three to one on the second string. Okay, like this. So it's okay, like this. And then it's one, one, three on the second string. Okay, and with the second one, you can play three on the sixth string for G, a G bass again. Okay, you don't have to, but you can. And then it's the second version, it's the low version. It's A minor with bass chord, and then F, strings 2, 3, and 4, and then C, strings 2, 3, and 5. Okay, and that's your chorus. High version. And then low version. Okay, and then G. High version, high F, and then C, pull off, G bass again if you like, and then the low version. That's the chorus. And then you can play the verse and chorus again, or move straight to the bridge. The bridge starts kind of the same as the chorus, it's this. Okay? 
It's one on the second string, zero, three on the E string, and then the high A minor. Okay, all together. And then seven on the E string, the D shaped F on five, and then three on the E string, then C, strings one, two, three, and five, and then the change. This. It's a hammer on from zero to two on the third string, and then one on the second string. Okay, so it's, and then it's three on the second string with the A bass. Okay, three on the second string, open fifth, then open E string, and then this F, three, two, three. Okay, the F with three on the second string. So it's three, two, three on strings two, three, and four. And then one on the second string, and then C with strings two, three, and five. Okay, right? so again, the bridge. High A minor, high F, C, okay, without the pull off there like the chorus, and then a hammer on on the third string, one on the second, then it's three on the second string with A, open E string, then this F, then one on the second string, C. Sounds like this. So let's play the bridge one more time. Okay, and you play it twice, and then you can go back to the intro and then play another verse and chorus, or you can finish it there. Every C chord can constitute a nice finish. So um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Don't forget, you can learn this much easier on Jelly Note, the description below with the interactive tabs and sheet music. I'll see you on the next lesson. And in the meantime, thank you very, very much for watching. Bye for now.